Okay, let's take a quick look at a few of these problems from your homework tonight that are over substitution. Um, the first numbers one, two, three, and five should all be straightforward, exactly what we were talking about in class, but let's just take a look at number two, make sure we're all good. All right, so we said we would find one that says either x equals or y equals, which these both do, and we would circle one of them. Okay, we then said that we would underline what it equals. Okay, we're gonna go to the equation that we haven't touched yet, and we're gonna cross out the same letter that we circled. So I circled the Y, so I'm gonna cross out the Y, and in its place, we're gonna put in what we underlined. So 3X minus 10. So I now have 3X minus 10 equals 2X minus five. Okay, this is something I can now solve. My variables are on opposite sides, so I'm gonna get them together with the opposite sign. So 3x minus 2x is 1x. I'll just continue solving. Okay, 1x is the same thing as x, so I get x equals 5. Now I need to take this value to find my y, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to plug it back in for this x. So now instead of saying y equals 3 times x minus 10, I'm going to say y equals 3 times my new x value, which is 5 minus 10. So 15 minus 10, so y equals five. So if I write this as an ordered pair, my x value is five, my y value is five. Okay, let's take a look. Let me get another color here so it's a little easier to tell. Let's take a look at number four. Okay, x equals or y equals, we're gonna look for in one of these, right? This top one doesn't say that, so we can't circle up here, but on the bottom one is where we see that x equals. We can underline what it equals. Okay, we're gonna go to the other equation and we're gonna cross out the letter that we circled. So I circled an S, X, so I'm gonna cross out the X and in its place, I'm gonna put Y plus 50. So I now have an equation that says Y plus 50 plus two Y equals 200, right? I'm just reading straight across here. Y plus 50 plus 2Y equals 200. These variables are on the same side, so I'm gonna get them together with the same sign. So 1Y plus 2Y is 3Y. This is something I can solve. Undo multiplication with division. But again, we're not done with one. We need to find the other variable. So we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna plug in where we underlined. Okay, so now instead of saying X equals Y plus 50, I'm gonna say X equals 50 plus 50. So that says X equals 100. And so if we write this as an ordered pair, X comma Y or 100 comma 50. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at number six. I'll at least help you get it set up and then you'll have the rest to do on your own. But if we circle where we see an X or Y equals, right, we see X equals in the second equation. We're gonna underline what it equals. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the other equation. We see the X, that's what we circled, so that's what we're gonna cross out. The two stays put. We can't cross out the two because we didn't circle a two. And in its place, we're gonna put a three Y plus seven. Okay, so now if I'm going across here, I have a two, I have a three Y plus seven, I have a plus four Y equals negative six, right? I'm just going straight across here. But this said two times X, so now I need it to say two times the three Y plus seven, so I'm gonna put that in parentheses. So that will give me a six Y plus 14 plus 4y equals negative 6. And from here, you should be able to solve and then plug back in where you underlined. 